Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm in a really fun collaboration. I am doing the 555 challenge, which basically means every month on the fifth of the month, I am doing five items and each item has to be $5 or less. I am in collaboration with these lovely ladies, Missy from Crafty Cove and Emily from Farm Charm Chick. There is gonna be other lovely crafters in this playlist as well. So I will leave that in the description box below. I would love it if you guys could go take a a look and for those of you guys who are new please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up if you guys like what you see today's theme is going to be nautical and i am super excited to share all these diys with you so let's begin diy number one i am just taking some of this nautical rope from the dollarama it is a dollar 25 now i'm going to make a garland out of this nautical rope this is the simplest diy out of them all i'm telling you um i am all i'm gonna do is do some knots in the rope now this funny enough i was inspired by one of jackson's pull toys i'm gonna show you a picture right here here he is with his nautical rope chew toy he's <laughs> so cute so i'm gonna just do four knots and the end the two knots at the end i'm gonna leave a good two to three inches of length at the end because you'll see here and right now i'm actually going to, to untwist everything and i'm going to use a comb and i'm going to feather everything out you guys remember me doing my boho feather video i'm gonna leave that link in the description box below as well so all i'm gonna do it takes a little while guys a little muscle but just keep you know be patient <laughs> but i'm just combing everything out and don't worry that you know the the nautical rope is very um spirally but it will straighten out once you've combed everything out and I do find that once you do comb everything out, you really don't need to do this step. Um, it does stay sealed pretty well. However, I'm just gonna take a couple of the strands and just wrap them around the base of the knot, and I'm just gonna hot glue it in place. And that way you are a guarantee that it won't unravel, which like I said, it won't, but this is just an extra step. <laughs> So it's pretty much it's a tassel, right? So same idea, all you're gonna do is comb everything out and you're just gonna cut off the end just to make that nice clean line. Now I got this package from Amazon because you guys know I cannot buy any sort of decor at the Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree has amazing nautical wooden pieces right now, which I cannot get my hands on guys. Anyway, I will leave the link of this bag in the description box. It was a little bit more expensive. It was from Amazon, it was a 30 piece of just the anchors and the steering wheels um it was 16 dollars but you guys remember i had that amazon gift card i had 10 dollars left on it so it really only cost me six bucks so it's okay it's fine for the fact that i can't buy anything in store right now <laughs> so i'm just going to paint one of the eight sorry, one of the anchors, and I'm mixing some um, turquoise with black. Now, it will look a little bit darker, but again, you just eyeball it, right? You just keep playing, adding more turquoise, depending on what color you want. It does look a little bit more navy, uh, maybe not necessarily in the video, but uh, anyway, I got this vase with all these seashells i'm telling you guys i lucked out this was free on the facebook buy nothing site there was so many stuff i actually wanted it more for that starfish that i just showed you but i'm gonna use some things in that jar again i think this is kind of like challenging for me as well which is great i get to do like a trash to treasure challenge so i'm just going to add some of these beautiful seashells as well to the other end of the tassel now look at this candle that was in that jar it had some of these blue um rocks so i'm just going to use those and i'm going to mod podge them to the surface of the shells So I didn't show you the end result of the garland yet, but you will definitely see it at the end of the video. So please stick around. So DIY number two, I am just taking these four by four square canvases from the Dollar Tree. Now I already had them from a previous DIY. It was already stained in the burnt umber from Deco Art. You can also use the Waverly chalk paint in antique wax. Now you guys remember I hauled these scrapbook papers. Remember I had the other one with the lemon DIY video. So this one is all nautical and they are so beautiful. I couldn't decide which picture I wanted. Now you'll see here I have, I am using the black 
picture, but in the end, I actually used the blue picture. So stick around to the end so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just using the existing canvas that was on the back and I'm just going to use my glue stick and attach the scrapbook paper and then I'm just gonna hot glue it to the frame. So I forgot to show this step, but I did give the frame a dry brush of the white acrylic paint. As you see, here's a lot lighter and I did use the blue paper. Now you see it. So I'm just taking the steering wheel from the package and which is also called the helm. Is that correct, guys? And uh, anyway, I'm just going to hot glue it to the corner of the frame. I just painted it white and here it is all done. I think this is so gorgeous. It's a great accent piece for a tear tray. DIY number three, I get to use one of these beautiful lanterns that just came out at Dollar Tree. Now, you guys remember I was joking, I'm like, what am I going to do with this keychain? Why is this on here? I thought of this. I am just going to make it look like a handle and I'm going to wrap some jute twine around it. So I'm just kind of eyeballing the length that I will need of the jute twine because you can't put the whole ball through the keychain, obviously. So if you have a little bit more, whatever, just keep them as scraps for something in the future. And if you haven't guessed it by now, all my DIYs today are going to be going on my tear tray. I also made this tear tray as well. It wasn't in a YouTube video, but you guys have seen it already. And I'm going to show you at the very end what it looks like. I really like the jute twine on this because now the keychain is not so dangly and it can actually stand up straight. So I got this jar of seashells from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to incorporate them on this lantern. Now remember, this is customizable. You don't even have to put these seashells on. You can put a uh, starfish on there, whatever you want. I'm actually going to incorporate all these seashells from the jar. I'm going to glue four of them to the outside of the lantern. I'm going to actually use the rest and just kind of stuff them inside just around the lantern part. Now, I get to finally use this hairnet. I think this is the funniest thing I've ever used in my DIYs. And just be careful with the hairnet, it is fragile, it can tear quite easily. So I'm just going to wrap it just around the top of the lantern and I'm just going to do a twist tie action. I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back. And just for the top, just to go over the hanger, I'm just gonna cut a little hole in there so that way I can drape it over a little bit better. Oh my gosh, guys, I am absolutely in love with this little lantern from the Dollar Tree. Look, I added it on the top and I did add the fishnet to the bottom as well. So cute. <laughs> All right, so DIY number four, I'm just going to use some of these foam wreaths from the Dollar Tree and I get to finally, I thought it was, you know, I was going to use it as a wreath, but you know, that's the obvious, right? So I'm actually going to turn it into a life preserver. <laughs> so I was using some of this nautical rope from the Dollarama and my intention was to wrap it around the whole entire wreath. However, I think because the, the foam was just, or the wreath was too small and the jute twine was too thick, it just wasn't wrapping around nicely. So what I'm going to do is wrap Wrap it around four times each and I'm going to do the same step in four different sections, kind of making it look like a, um, an X. You'll see in a minute. You see what I mean here. So I wanted you could keep it like this. However, I'm going to add a little bit extra and I'm going to make a little handle for the top. So I'm just going to use some of the nautical rope and just wrap it around several times, make a loop and then wrap the excess around several times. And I'm just going to hot glue it in place. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess and then hot glue it to the uh, top of the life preserver.
am getting to use this free jar of goodies again. I am going to get to use my starfish. I was debating between the seashell or the starfish, but I really love this starfish. So it was a little bit darker, so I'm actually just refreshing it by dry brushing a little bit of the white acrylic paint on it. Just again, just to brighten things up. Now I'm just going to hot glue to the side of the preserver and I'll show you in just a second. I did use a little wooden cube at the back just to make it act as a stand. And how adorable is this life preserver? It is the perfect addition to my tear tray. So fifth and final DIY, I am just taking this candle holder that I got from the Dollar Tree. I used it in a previous DIY, so I'm just gonna repurpose it here. And I'm just taking one of these plastic shot glasses from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna hot glue it to the base of the, the candle holder to act as a stand. So I'm actually going to paint half of this uh, holder and what I'm going to do is just use some of the painter's tape and just mark off where I want to indicate where I'm going to paint. And this just also helps to get that nice clean straight line as well. So this is not my idea. I am super excited to try this baking soda technique. It's just supposed to give it that terracotta texture feel. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna mix some white and some burnt umber acrylic paint, more white and a little bit of burnt umber because I'm just gonna try to make it that off white color. Uh, I don't want it too dark. And for the baking soda, all you really have to do is you're just gonna eyeball it. You're just gonna keep adding more just to get it to a thicker consistency. Hard to see, but it is very clumpy and a little bit thicker as well. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna paint it on. You could just do regular brush strokes, but I'm kind of just dabbing it on. Uh, remember this will take, even though it's thicker, it will still take, for me it took two coats of the paint. And I'll do another little technique after. I'm just gonna take a dry uh, sponge from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna kind of dab it on just to give it a little bit more of that texture look as well. And I never really show this part, but I just use my hair dryer in between dry times. And so here it is all done. And you can just go ahead and remove the tape. Now, if you wanted to leave it dry a little bit longer, you totally can. Um, but this was dry enough for me. But I just removed the tape very slowly just in case paint came off. But it didn't for me. Okay guys, I think I'm obsessed with this technique. It honestly felt like a terracotta pot. I think this is gonna be one of my new favorite go-to methods. So I didn't show you, but I just added a little jute twine just around the top of the paint. And remember these nautical stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree? They're super cute as is. However, you know me, I just want to paint over them. So I just made some more turquoisey blue paint. So I just added turquoise and white together just to what I wanted. And I'm just going to paint two of the starfish and one of the seashells. And I'm going to just stick them on. The stickers were quite um, sticky. So I just le left them like that. If I want to take them off in the future, I can. Um, however, for you guys to do a more permanent seal, go ahead and hot glue them to the jute twine. And I always leave the jute twine just a little bit longer. So I know I can kind of just place the star fish where I want and then I can just cut off the excess string after just kind of you see here that there's a little extra So I love it the way it is, but I was just thinking, you know what, the base looked just a little bit bare for me. So I just went ahead and wrapped some more jute twine just around the base. I didn't cover it completely because I still wanted some of the base to show through. just taking some of these tea lights that I have from the Dollar Tree and I'm just placing some marbles at the bottom of the vase. You can use sand as well but I just wanted to give it some height so you can actually see the candle above the paint. Guys I am so excited I participated in this 555 challenge. I am telling you each DIY was probably two dollars or less. So affordable and so easy to do. 
please guys i would love it if you guys could check out missy from crafty cove and emily from farm charm chick these guys are amazing crafters as well there is a playlist so there are going to be many other crafters as well participating so please go check that out i am going to leave that link in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up if you guys like what you see and leave me a comment let me know if you like this video i hope you guys have a fabulous day stay safe and we'll see you guys at the next video bye